Part 1. White Clouds. Garland Moon. Mutiny in the Mist. When the warm winds blow from the sea to the south of Adrestia, residents of Fodlin know that the rainy season is upon them. Before the heavy rains take their toll, young women hurry to pick the last of the white roses. The ivory buds are woven into garlands and given as gifts to close friends or potential lovers. Professor, I have a new mission for your students. We have received reports that Lord Lonato has rallied troops against the Holy Church of Seros. Lord Lonato is a minor lord of the kingdom. He's been showing hostility toward the church for some time now. A vanguard unit from the Knights of Seros is already on its way to his stronghold, Castle Gaspar. Lord Lonato's army is nothing compared to the Knights. It is quite possible the rebellion has already been suppressed. Even so, I would like for your class to travel with the Knight's rear guard to deal with the aftermath. War zones are unpredictable. We do not expect you will have cause to battle, but be prepared for the worst. Excuse me, you sent for me, Lady Rhea? This is Catherine. She will be leading the Knights whom you will be accompanying. Nice to meet you. We've heard a lot about you. If you need anything, just ask. She is one of our bravest knights, and that is no small feat. Only an exceptional few have what it takes to join the Knights of Seros. This mission should prove useful in demonstrating to the students how foolish it would be to ever turn their blades on the church. Thank you so much. A new path to tread. some time in here engaging in such idle chatter do you not know that we have not a moment left to waste forgotten I don't believe that is the truth no it is more likely you were dreaming the whole day away you must try harder from now on studying here so I could be the best there is, just like Captain Gerald. Do you think I've got it in me to be a top-tier mercenary professor? I'm going to work a lot harder than all the fancy nobles around here, I can tell you that. Yeah. Yes. I heard about your class's assignment, by the way. Good luck subduing those treasonous nobles. Ah. 
Hey, Teach, there's some minor noble rebelling in Fargus, right? He has no chance of winning. I wonder what he hopes to achieve. Huh? Are you going along to help? Sounds like an easy victory, but good luck out there. Right. We're going on a mission with the knights, right? I wonder if... Oh, sorry, it's nothing. I was just wondering if someone I've been searching for might be among them. Thank you. I'm definitely gonna find him one of these days. I've heard whispers about Lord Lenato. They say he's a very kind and gentle lord. Why would such a kind man suddenly raise an army? Oh, Professor, you were working late last night, weren't you? You shouldn't overdo it. A ghost might rise up from the well to get you if you stay up too late. Or so I'm told. I have a favor to ask of you. Are you going to fight alongside the Knights of Saros? Hmm. Let me know if you meet anyone I might be interested in, okay? train with her how much do you think I should train before I'm ready to train with someone that strong Bye. it is a noble's duty to protect the common folk not to endanger them by rallying armies in such a feckless and improper manner abuse of that kind is no better than slavery a proper noble must guard the people from such a fate wouldn't you say There can be no legitimate cause for a noble to abandon that basic obligation. Let us put an end to this quickly. His Highness is strong, but on the front lines, anything can happen. Losing him would be devastating for Fargus. I hope the church understands that. Let's see. Doubtless, there are times when one must take up their blade, even if there's no chance of winning. But this, it's downright senseless. Lord Lenato knows better. If he had enough allies to back his rebellion, it would be a different matter. Ah, my apologies. I was just thinking aloud. This whole situation is a bit too strange for my liking. Even with the necessary preparations in place, there is always a chance that something unexpected will occur. Please be ready for anything, Professor. Will you do me a favor? Have you seen Felix around? I swear, as soon as you take your eyes off him, poof, he's gone. Ah, of course he's there. Sorry for bothering you, Professor. Thanks. What? I hear that Lord Lenato served the King of Fargus' older brother when he was younger. Or something like that. He already had status and prestige. So, why raise a rebellion? Eh. I guess it's none of my business. <laughs> Professor, I feel I must speak to you about Kaspar's eating habits. I've never seen the like of it. He inhales entire plates of food in mere seconds. Hence my mentioning it to you. Good luck with him. Ah, today's meal was delicious. Linhart keeps bothering me about eating too fast. Says I'm gonna choke or something. 
You're really going to agree with that guy? Why is no one here on my side? If you have a moment, I would like a word. It has been brought to my attention that certain individuals have been making advances toward flame. Have you witnessed any such behavior? If you see anything similar in the future, please inform the perpetrators of their peril. I'm sorry, but I must vent to someone, Professor. You're familiar with Manuela's slovenly behavior, yes? That woman. She borrowed a book last week and returned it with stains of unknown origin on the cover and several pages either folded or torn. Just now, she dropped a sandwich on the floor, picked it up, and kept eating. When she saw my shock, she said simply, three-second rule. Ugh. Hey, Professor. Do you happen to have any food on you? I'm starving. No matter how much I eat before I train, I'm always so hungry after. My muscles must be going through a growth spurt. Inspirational. This flower is one that is eating insects. Is that factual too? I am wondering who watches over the plants in Fodlin. So, Professor? I feel I can empathize with them. The flowers, flowers that thrive despite their environment, are truly inspiring, are they not? Inspirational. What? I desired fresh air. Hmm. I have a favor to ask. Professor! Professor, your clothes are a bit dirty. I'd have expected you to be more careful, seeing as how you're a professor and all. I hate when my clothes get dirty. That's one of the many reasons I find it best to train as little as possible. Yep. What do you require? Do you want to hire this battalion? Nice to meet you. Thank you. Battalions from various territories gather at the guild. There are even some that aren't affiliated with the Church of Seros. As we are allowed to hire them, you should visit the guild soon and come to your own conclusions. As they fight, battalions will lose endurance. When that happens, you can replenish their endurance by visiting the battalion guild in the market. Since we're heading to Castle Gaspar, that means we'll be passing through Magdred Way. The road is well known for its beautiful surroundings. Depending on the time of year, it can be incredibly foggy, though. When it's like that, you can't enjoy the lovely scenery. Lucky for us, it shouldn't be too foggy while we're there. Not that we'll have time for sightseeing, anyway. What? 
Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Have you talked with Catherine yet? <laughs> if the knights are the cream of the crop, she's the cream of the cream. Oh, and that relic of hers. I hear it's nothing short of amazing. Good deal. Abyss? You're interested in that place, are you? Ancient sprawling remains deep below Garrick Mach. That's Abyss. Some folks have made their home there. Obviously, they all have their reasons and tales to tell. But only the most enterprising merchant would venture near it. My advice? Avoid going there yourself. Abyss? Ancient some f but only the Hey, Professor! Fancy meeting you here! I've got a business... uh... I mean... I've got something I want to chat with you about. I know you're busy with a lot of things, but I was wondering if I might be able to join you. Heck, I won't even charge you for my aid! What say you? It's a killer deal. Thank you. Now I'll have plenty of time to get to know my clients better. A merchant needs to know the inner workings of everyone they come in contact with. Helps with the making of the monies, you know. for your help. Impressive, I'll admit. So is her sword. But I think she's hiding something. Nobody knows anything about her past. You should spar with her. She's strong. Stronger than you are, I bet. Lord Lonato must know that his efforts are futile, yet he can't help but fight. If I were in that situation, I would do whatever it took to ensure victory. You can count on that. Something about this situation doesn't feel right. Why would a minor lord raise an army against a foe he cannot possibly hope to defeat? Come to think of it, here to train? You really are as hardworking as they say. Spoken like a true hard worker. Oh no. Why does His Highness take the side of the people of Dusker? I just don't understand it. Only four years ago, they murdered our king and slaughtered the soldiers and knights who were with him, all of whom were innocent. Even if he can forgive them, I can't. Not ever. What they've done is against all codes of honor and ethics.
Thank you so much for your help. Please, Professor, there must be some mistake. Lenato would never raise arms against the Church. At least, he never said anything to me about it. Maybe... Lord Lenato. He used to stay at the monastery rather frequently. He was such a pious man, a true believer. Such a terrible shame. I wonder what changed him. Just here is the Holy Mausoleum, where the saints of the Church of Sarah slumber. Sorry, but only a select few members of the Church are allowed entry. It's open to the public on only one day of the year, for the Goddess's Rite of Rebirth. Yeah! <sighs> Listen, the monastery grounds are far too spread out. Feels like it takes hours to get from one area to another. And no, that's not because I'm getting lost. I'm a fully capable, mature person who never gets lost. Professor? Professor, I heard that you made battle alongside Catherine. Even among the knights, she is something special. A holy knight who is able to wield a hero's relic. Still, she can be a mite difficult. Way. Did you hear? There's news of someone in the kingdom raising an army. The kingdom, the empire, the alliance. They do love a good war, don't they? Spilling the blood of young men and women. And for what? Just to enjoy the horror of it? Would you be so kind as to do me a favor? I simply must thank you, Professor. All they ever do is cause trouble. We'd best purge the entire underbelly of Garrett Mock. I can't believe it. This place has so many breathtaking works of art. I feel like I'm living in a museum. Each piece can teach us about styles and techniques from a thousand years ago. I'm from a family of merchants, so I've been able to see a lot of art, but I won't pretend to be an expert. Of course. Pointing a sword at the Holy Church of Seros is akin to pointing a sword at the goddess herself, meeting out appropriate punishment to the sinful. It is a sacred duty with which we have been entrusted. As a member of the church yourself, I hope that you will take that to heart. The Castle Gaspar, eh? I've been there once before, many years ago. It was by request of the son of that family, Kristoff, uh, I think it was. I have a request. Thanks for your help.
Thank you, Professor. Thank you very much. I appreciate this. Next month is when a very important ceremony will be taking place at the monastery. Pilgrims from all corners of Fodlan have already started to gather in anticipation. I pray that you are able to nip this trouble in the bud as soon as possible. Oh, thank you. I have been looking for this. But how did you know it was mine? Gone for good. How did you know it was mine? Oh, thanks. Oh, that's mine. Thanks so much for finding it. Oh, hey. I can't believe I dropped this! Thanks for bringing it to me! Save me with this. I owe you one, Professor. I can't believe I left this behind. Oh, thank you so much for retrieving it. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate this. Hey you, listen up. I've got something to report. Lots of things happen down here. Lots of reports need to be reported. And for all reportable things, I'm your guy. Oh, have you explored Abyss yet? Some shiny treasures here. Much better than up top. Fact, treasure likes to be underground. You're one of those treasure snobs who thinks their treasure is better than everyone else's, are ya? Those types really get my goat. The thing is, despite what my appearance might suggest, I was actually born a noble. No one in my generation bore a crest, however. When the next generation proved to be flush with crests, my father and I were cast aside. Can't say I'm surprised about Lord Lenato launching a rebellion. The writing was on the wall. If anything, it's more surprising it didn't happen sooner. Lord Lenato answers to Count Roe of Fargus, the man who adopted me. That's how I got into the Academy. I'm not in contact with the Count anymore, but that's how I know so much. Gaspar territory smacks of war. It'll be interesting to see how things shake out. Mercy, I beg you! Costas never meant to attack the Church. He was tricked! They don't understand that. They'll kill me! You. You can let me go. Please! <sighs> I've got a quiet life waiting for me back home. I'll never cause trouble again, I swear. Thank you. Professor, do you have some need of me? I assure you, I am busier than I may seem. You would argue the point? Do you claim to have a view inside my mind? Yes, I thought not. I 
I'm doing strenuous mental exercises, my magical theories require rigorous fine-tuning. I shall never finish this task if I am not left to my own devices. Run along now. I have a small request. seen any suspicious types on the surface lately, have you? Beefy, mean-looking folks. Beautiful. Guess those lowlifes haven't tracked me down yet. Bounty hunters are the worst, yeah? They can't just let me be, so I have to go through the trouble of roughing them up. Nope. Someone's raising an army in the kingdom, I heard. Normally, I wouldn't care about that kind of thing. But this army's picking a fight with the church, so as far as I'm concerned, more power to him. He hates a strong word. I'm just saying, they might have a good reason to rebel. Rhea and her lackeys like to pretend they're always in the right, but they're not. No one is. Need something? This one? This one? See you again soon. how it's done. Am I making progress? There's something I'd like you to tell me. out well it seems I've improved I'm really getting the hang of this I'm getting much better impressed yet mastery is within my grasp guess I learned a thing or two